in the, in this program we are going to see how we can find a text from the pdf okay let's get started here we are have the previous program so i have cleared little bit and here is the game plan so first of all we are going to create the object of the text executor class then we are going to load the document then we are going to turn on the word matching mode we are going to iterate through all the pages we will see if we can find the text if we can we will iterate to find all of the text and we are going to display the result which is contained in the search result element so let's get started so i am going to add sample program here which i already have in the desktop and let me show you how we are so this is a pdf and we are going to search for the word ipsum we can see we are having the three words two in the first page and the one in the second page i'm going to copy it and paste it here oh it didn't copy let me try again right click copy and paste i'm also going to include in the output directory copy always and we are all set so this way let let me create the instance i'm going to pass a registration name and key in the constructor itself Okay, next step load document extractor load document from file sample program 2 dot pdf okay third step is like enable word matching mode so let's see we are having the one property word matching mode and we are having the three enums like none exit match and smart match exit match will exactly match the word if if we set it to none then it will also search for the partial keyword like there is a one main keyword and it is containing in another keyword like here we are having the load document from file but if we only search for the document then it will search it like substring and for the smart match uh, it will search for the various combination just like we we can search in the adobe acrobat itself for this demo we are going to have the exact match i am going to iterate from all the pages so i'm getting the all the page counts extractor dot get page count and i'm going to iterate it now we are going to enable the search like if extractor dot find text if we can find it and i'm going to pass a page index which is index it zero based page index the word i'm going to set is ipsum and is case sensitive no if we if we can find it, it then we are going to here the next step would be displaying all the results like we are getting like search result element let me have it in the for loop for each search result element element in extractor dot 
found text dot elements and we are going to get all the properties like let's see what we can find out basically we are going to console it writing down in the console in the, in the page number it's zero base so we are incremented it let's see what we have in this element we are having the color is it bold is it italic font size height index left text top okay I guess we get most of the useful properties here I'm going to display top left we'll see what's the height of it and also the weight of it height left top let's also write about the whether it is bold element dot is font is bold let's say it's italics element dot font is italic let's get the font name font name and also the font size let's also get the color and also make sure we are holding the console console dot so get we can read it and let's start Okay, here it is. We are getting the two results. One in the page one, one in the page two. But if you remember, like in the program itself, we are going, we have found uh, three results: two in the page one and one in the page two. So let's see what went wrong. Oh, here. Yeah. Once we found it, like we need to continuously iterate it. Like till it find the next. So let us try again. And here it is. So two in the page one and one in the page two. The page two it's slightly colored, font size is smaller also italics it's bold like we see here in the page one it, it's its font size is smaller so let's see yes its font size is small 8 and the first one its font size is bigger and it's bold so I guess it's working correctly so that's all guys so this way we can find the text from the Byte Scout PDF Excel SDK using it, and we also have the fine grain control like about the found results. We can get the, each most of the specific details about the found text here.